So, thank you, number one, for, for being here, for talking about this. Um, it's been a while since you've had the opportunity to do the gala. What does it feel like to be able to come back? It's been so long, and, and it's, I think it's been probably three years. Mm -hmm. So, um, to actually be you know, raising money in person again. We did very well virtually, actually. Yeah, uh, amazingly so. Yeah, thanks to our, our CEO, Mike Ravenhill, and all the donors and all the friends that we've sort of gathered over the years, that they're a community themselves, the people that help us with our foundation. So we had some great Zooms, cocktail Zooms, but to be live is going to be amazing. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. Now, the foundation has been doing great work for so long, and, you know, you can track the progress. You can track the, the <clears throat> changes that you've made in people's lives, but... What does it feel like for you when you think about the good that's been done? How does that change you? Well, I think we were, we were saying earlier that, you know, now we have a young baby. And mm -hmm. so I, it's actually, that has had an impact on me and what we do. I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes, I'm not going to lie, you go through the motions because there's so many families that we help. And back in the day, I used to be able to track every family and visit every family. And now it's, it's sadly overwhelming how many families um, need, need help. Uh, but now having a baby just sort of brings it all full circle, and I know Kat feels the same way. Yeah, when you have a new baby, you just can't imagine anything happening to them. I imagine as they grow, you can't imagine anything bad happening to them. But I think when they're so little and innocent, precious, that you just, um, you know, I've known David for a long time before we were, we were even a couple, and I've known about his foundation. So for me, it's incredible to watch uh, what he and so many of his people who work for the foundation have created. It's really, it's incredible. I mean, they've raised so much money, um, and it's going to be able to be self-sufficient in the years to come, right? Because they've really been ethical how they've raised money and how they spend it. So it's really, it's a special, special thing you have done with. Yeah. And we like to say that we're, we're, um we're the brightest, we're the only bright spot in a family's worst day. And it truly is their worst day. Yeah. When your child is sick, there's, there's nothing worse than that. So, but there's a foundation that will help you pay for your mortgage and the second house and the second car and take care of all your needs so that you can just concentrate on your sick child. Yeah, and tomorrow night is going to be a celebration. Uh, Catherine, what are you most excited about for the gala? Well, I'm so excited that they've, uh, I say they, but Mike Ravenhill, who's the CEO, basically picked a Broadway night. This had nothing to do with you or me. I'm not um, a Broadway guy. I've you know, been on Broadway. I've got lots of she Broadway friends. She started on Broadway, which mm -hmm. was fantastic. Um, so it's going to be great to get a little bit of the Broadway community together. And uh, Leslie Odom, who I did Smash with all those years ago, I don't know if anyone remembers that show, but he has started in Hamilton um, and there's gonna be just an amazing night of great tunes and um, you know we'll do a little bit of jazz hands and we're gonna do Wicked we're gonna do Hamilton we're gonna do smash yeah we're like gonna, a, yeah. a bunch of different shows all in one night so hopefully people who are attending are, are Broadway fans and if they're not they'll become theater fans hopefully are we gonna get the jazz hands out of you as well <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Well, David, yeah. also, we should, we should know this is very exciting. We're doing his big workshop uh, the end of this month in New York City for his musical Betty Boop that he's been working on for ever. Right. Um, like, since we've known each other, you've been working on and it. It's so finally it's coming down time. to a four week workshop, June 3rd, presentation for investors. If we get the money, yeah. so go to Chicago, then New York. It's very appropriate Amazing. that we're having a Broadway themed night to help raise money for your foundation because Broadway yeah. is. You know, just at the tip, the of, your, for me. The tip of your fingers. Yeah. The tip of your, no. tip of your tongue. tongue. Tip of your tongue. Now, going back to Leslie Odom Jr., what a phenomenal talent. What an amazing guy. What does it mean to have his support? Oh, I was shocked. I mean, I, I reached out to him through a friend. I don't know him. Kat knows him. You reached out said. to him through me. Well, actually through... <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I gave you this number. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. But you know, a there are some celebrities that I know that yes, I can connect with. Yes, for sure. And he was, uh, you know, there's certain people that have followed my career and, and like what I do, and they're happy to partake. And then there's others like, I don't know who this guy is, but Leslie was one of those guys that knows about me. And, and so he, he just jumped on it. He said yes right away, which I was shocked. Yeah, it's, he's a great guy. Because he's so. a big star. He's a big star. Yeah. Phenomenal, it's phenomenal super guy. Absolutely. And you've got a lot of amazing talent. I mean, this is the, the Broadway theme after all. You've got uh, the cast of Wicked mm -hmm. coming by. Yeah. Now, we, we just found out that Cynthia Rivo and Ariana Grande are going to be cast in the film version. They won't be there. They won't be they there. Won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> but what did you think about that casting? Oh, we love, I mean, I think we, yeah, I mean, I'm a big Ariana Grande fan, so. And I'm a big Cynthia fan. Yeah. So, or both. I'm a fan of both, both of them. Yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be great. I and I be. love who's directing. I think he's fantastic. He's the one who did um, Crazy Rich Asians. He's, oh. Mm -hmm. What's his name? I don't know. Yeah. That's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be great. But I think he's really, really talented. So I think yeah. it's great. Yeah. The thing is that they have to do is you've got to figure out 
for a film how to bust out into song and not be corny. That's, that's going to be hard. That's the one. If they, if they crack that nut, they're going to be Something golden. has changed within me. Something is not the same. Like that? Yes. See, and that, that worked just like that. It did. So just have you run on and do it is, is what we're I'm saying. I'm through with playing by the rules of the... <laughs> <laughs> it's either you break out into a song like that or David runs in and just does jazz hands chair. every other scene and that's yeah. how we're going to make it work. Yeah. Now, you guys have been collaborators for a long time. You know, what have you learned about each other um, through working together and certainly working together on this? You know, I've been asked that... <laughs> Excuse me. I, we've been asked that question before, and I kind of have a boring answer because, mm. truthfully, we met when I was a contestant on American Idol. He mm. and Andrea Bocelli were guest mentors, um, season five, and we did all kinds of charity events together. He took me on the road to do you his. Did, you did my foundation. I did your like foundation. Fourteen years ago. Yes, I did that. Um, I did Bocelli shows with him where he'd come in. So, like, we've kind of always known each other professionally pers mm. like colleagues more than we obviously is than romantic so we were, we were friends for all those years so nothing really surprises me working with him um like when we were doing the cat and dave show uh yeah nothing really i mean you're mm. not quite as quick at the tech stuff as i am but you know <laughs> i guess i don't okay. know if that's surprising sorry cutie <laughs> um yeah so but we've kind of always, is that an appropriate answer that's though? a good answer yeah mm. Now, between, you know, work and life, family life, the kids, it can be difficult to do things like get a date night. Would the gala be considered a date night for you guys? Is that what this, this is Hell really no. about? <laughs> no, it's work. He works. I mean, he works. It's, the it's you know, you start thinking about it a few days, well, months in advance, but a few days before it comes, I sort of pick things off as they come. I sort of, you know, and then, oh, oh my God, it's going to be in four days. I got to really work hard. And fortunately, we have other people that are working really hard on it. But it'll be a crunch. I mean, we have rehearsal today. We have a show tonight, a smaller show tonight. Yeah. Rehearsal all day tomorrow. The big show tomorrow night. We're going to have a night on Sunday, which is Mother's Day. Yeah, so, uh, exactly. And he's got a whole thing planned for Mother's Day. So, <laughs> is, it, is it a surprise? Do you know what he has planned? Or no, no, it's we're a not joke. revealing anything, it's right? It's a joke. I like basically... <laughs> I basically oh, have... Oh, you can see me on the monitor. Yeah, I can see you on the monitor. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I let him off the hook. This is a kind of a crazy... It's a great cause, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be exciting, but it is a lot of work for him, and um, so I'm excited just to... Yeah, we, we are together all the time, so... It's true. Yeah, we're yeah. touring together. We're touring together. Um, we're parenting together. We're... We actually don't get very many date nights, though. No. 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 But we we're together yeah. all the time, so I appreciate that we're together a lot. Yes. It would be no fun not to What's see What's a perfect other. date night for you? Well, a gala would be great. <laughs> just saying. Get him a ticket. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> this thing that you do when you just break out into song, is this something that she does all the time? Are you, like, hanging out in the office no. and then she just busts in, like... I have to force oh! it. <laughs> I have to force it. But sometimes I'll just wander over to the piano at home and just start playing, and then she'll come and, you know, come behind me and put her arms around me and just start singing. But Aww. we don't do it a lot. That was the old But um, I, I love hearing her bust out. I mean, she's got such a great voice, and she's... I mostly you know, singing in the shower, and you're probably like, oh, God, I wish she would shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know. I think... After, after, you know, you get Betty Boop going, mm -hmm. the next David Foster project has got to be like a family album. <laughs> where you're funny, all No, together. it's funny you should say that because we've thought about doing a Christmas album, not together, but her, her, her cat doing a Christmas album. We've thought about doing a kid's album. Yeah, we want to do a I kid's album. I have kid's songs that I've written over the years oh, yeah. for my other kids Fresh. and starting to write for our, our young child now. And, and uh, it's probably not as easy as it sounds because... We, we, like, we love Rafi. You probably don't know who he is, but he's a great Canadian mm -hmm. uh, kids composer. And um, he's, yeah, he's, he's a one lifesaver, song, honestly. One song every day, day and night, but it's great. But it's not as easy as it looks, I don't think, because I've heard We're going to give it a shot. Yeah, but yeah. some kids' albums are awful. Like, the music <laughs> is just awful. I know. So it's got to be top-notch. Yeah, but it's got to be relatable to kids, mm -hmm. too. So it's, right. uh, you know. Well, I, I got to say. I think we can do it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Betty and, and to tomorrow night. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you so much. We need to get you a tick. You do, you tick. You I mean, do. a tick. You do. We need to get you a ticket. A ticket. Make yeah, it, come on, Mike. Too. All right. Is hey, that a yes? Mike saying yes. You heard it on TV. Excited now. Very excited. <laughs> you got to get a suit pressed. Yeah. You're going out. Yeah, don't go like that. Now, <laughs> what? wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thanks.